So back shortly after the MITS Altair was first released, um, there wasn't much you could do with it. I mean, as advertised on pop Popular Electronics Magazine, you got a box with some switches, with some lights, and with not a whole lot else for user interface or functionality. So what happened back in the day was people learned 8080 opcodes, figured out programs that they wanted to run that only used the front panel and only used the processor inside the machine, and they worked out programming this machine from the front panel, and they just toyed with it. Um, one guy named Steve Dampier was working in his garage one day, listening to the sports on the radio, and writing some simple programs on this Altair to figure out what to do, and realized that he was hearing interference from the bus of the machine on his radio, and decided that the next program he was going to write was going to be that, a music program that used that interference to make music or something that sounded like music. So let's give that a shot and see what we can uh, do to reproduce his code. Let's give it a shot. First, let's start it, reset it, and now we're ready to go. We'll start with the program itself. I've got the sheet here with the program listing and then a couple of songs. I'll plug in one. I'm not sure which yet. Let's get the first part first. Oops, let's try that the right way. One, pause it. Zero next, zero's next. One. As you can see, the front panel set up in um, what they call split octals. Each one of these three, or banks of three switches, is one octal character. So you've got, for a given bank, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. Those are the options for each bank. And the software itself is coded as three digit numbers. So for the next address here, which would be address 7, I need zeros across the board. So pause it next. That goes into address 7. Uh, the next address is 10, which is also zeros. The next one is 026. 026, deposit next. And let's see, they recommend, I think, 40 for a good starting tempo, which is the next location here, and so on. If you're ever doing this and you've got kids, they're great to read numbers to you. Or teach them how to and have them do the switches. All right, so that's the code. That's the whole program, but it needs to do something with something in order to make music. So let's see if we can teach this thing how to play Daisy. That's uh, a fair amount of front panel manipulation, but we'll plug it in. I'm sure I'll cut it out of the video and we'll see where we go from there. And that's the music. So let's get back and plug the right address in for where the music's running from. So we're going to go to Address one, right now it's set for zero four zero. We actually need it set for one seven zero. And we're ready to go. Except for one thing. Noisemaker. So quiet place on the dial, give or take.
There we go.